You know, I wanted to provide a reminder out there about <clears throat> being careful of what you try to amend. So I was recently reminded by a legal colleague about a state appellate court decision a few years ago and the limits that the appellate court decision placed on the legislature's power to amend a voter approved initiative. And I think that the appellate court decision provides some important guidance that folks keep in mind as a new session gets underway. Back in August of 2019, the third district court of appeal based here in Sacramento struck down a bill that had been enacted by the legislature and the governor. Back in 2016, it was Senate Bill 1107, uh, Chapter 837. And SB 1107 had proposed to amend Government Code Section 85300, which is part of the Political Reform Act of 1974, which was actually adopted by the voters as Prop 9 in June of 74, and it was subsequently amended by the voters by Proposition 73 in 1988. So what happened was is that uh, SB 1107 had proposed to reverse the ban uh, prohibiting the public financing of political campaigns under certain circumstances, and that provision had been placed in the government code by Prop 73. And basically, the plaintiff sued to challenge the enactment of SB 1107, claiming that it was an improper or unlawful legislative amendment of a voter approved initiative. And so the third district court of appeal ultimately ruled that in fact SB 1107 directly conflicted with one of the primary purposes of the Political Reform Act as it was amended by Prop 73. And because 1107 didn't further the purposes of the Political Reform Act, the appellate court deemed it to be invalid. So if you look at 1107 in the Legislative Council Digest, it simply says the Political Reform Act of 1974, an initiative measure, provides that the legislature may amend the act to further the act's purposes upon a two-thirds vote of each house and compliance with specified procedural requirements. It also goes on to say that this bill, meaning SB 1107, would declare that it bill, that bill furthers the purposes of the act, the Political Reform Act. So now if you look at section one of SB 1107, there are 13 uncodified legislative findings and declarations that purport to support the proposed changes to the PRA contained in 1107. And then sections two and three of that bill made the specified statutory changes that were the challenge in this particular lawsuit. And if you skip down to section six of the bill, it had this simple statement. The legislature finds and declares that this bill furthers the purposes of the Political Reform Act of 1974 within the meaning of subdivision A of section 81012 of the government code. Now we turn to the August 2019 appellate court decision. The case is Howard Jarvis Taxpayers Association versus Newsom. And here the Court of Appeal said, quote, we find that Senate Bill number 1107 directly conflicts with a primary purpose and mandate of the act as amended by subsequent voter initiatives to prohibit public funding of political campaigns. Accordingly, the legislation does not further the purposes of the act, a requirement for legislative amendment of the act. Furthermore, the Court of Appeal explained in the Howard Jarvis Taxpayers Association case, quote, the legislature made an express finding that Senate Bill number 1107 did further the purposes of the act. We are not bound by this finding and are not required to defer to it. We do, however, apply the general rule that a strong presumption of constitutionality supports the legislature's acts. The Court of Appeal went on to say that, quote, determining whether the legislative amendment furthers the purposes of the act is a legal question that we determine independently, and the determination of the purpose of the act is part of that legal question. Finally, in closing, the Court opined, the power of the legislature may be practically absolute, but that power must yield when the limitation of the legislature's authority clearly inhibits its action. 
because Senate Bill number 1107 expressly conflicts with the primary mandate of the act, the ban on public funding of election campaigns, it is invalid. So what kind of guidance, at least do I find in this appellate court decision? And I think there are two main ones. First, just because a bill simply states that the legislature finds or declares that a bill furthers the purposes of a voter approved act doesn't mean it will be readily accepted by a reviewing court. And as I've opined before, this simple statement, I think, should actually be expanded to include substantive explanation in the legislation itself why the legislature is making this binding or declaration that their purposes are furthered. The second thing I take away is that legislative findings and declarations in support of a bill can be ignored, unfortunately, by a reviewing court. <clears throat> so in this case, as I noted earlier, SB 1107 had 13 different legislative statements to justify the bill's amendment to the voter approved measure, and not a single one of them uh, was accepted by the Court of Appeal in this case. So that's why I started by saying, be careful what you're trying to amend, especially when it comes to voter approved ballot measures.